create another file with no with no CSS yet para hindi mo malibog and then we will just concentrate with the HTML and the PHP. Then later on, if you don't have, we if we will have a time, then that is the time we're going to uh, implement CSS so that our work much more nicer to look at. Okay, so remember that there that we have a server and our server is WAMP. So once it's installed, you know where's the directory and we press that one, the status of the server is this one. It's the icon and there are three statuses. You can see there is a red which is not running, or, uh, yeah, orange that is there is one server running and which is the green, all servers are running. Because, yes, you can download it. You can download. I have also here. I can give it to you today. So this is 64 bit operating uh, 64 bit. So if you have a 64 bit um, operating system, so you can have my installer. Installer. If you have a 32 bit, then I will just give a link to you uh, for the 60, 32 bit. Okay. Um. So when this icon turns green, means that the servers are running because we have three servers here: the Apache for the PHP. MySQL for the SQL and Python for Python. Yeah, so we have uh, so Tulumika servers there. So we have here. So once you have uh, the the green icon appeared, then we go to the directory. Where is the um, where is the file? Oh, uh, okay. In my in, in my case, I use I installed one to Type C, and this is the directory 164. Then when I enter that one, I have advanced of directories, but I have to select only www directory. Then this is now the the folders or the project inside the www directory. So this is now the working area. This is all the all our folders will be saved under your www www directory. So make please make a folder there and keep the name a Okay, so in our case, we already created our folder which is ITS underscore one two six six one C, and we have we have the CSS for Bootstrap. But last time we imported it, JS plus Bootstrap. So do not concentrate for now. We will just skip, and for now we will just create a new file. We will going to create a registration. Okay. Okay, before making the registration ci yeah, i forgot we will going to examine if there we will have na, we, if we have already our database if we, we already have we will try to look at for our php my admin okay we will check if there is a database for us uh, its one two six so there is no database. Okay. So in order to create a database, we will use an SQL command. Okay, so now you are just click, you are just clicking the box for now. So create database and what our database name ITS one two six section C. So that is how you are going to create a database. So it is now created. So we have now ITS one two six. Okay, so I will just uh, make a table for us, table student, and a fewer attributes lang, uh, because I cannot afford to have uh, a lot of attributes. A uh, minimum siguro is three attributes I can have, and then. Uh, you will just, I will give you an activity, Karol, and you will go into work it outside because next meeting I will um, I will be uh, collecting it, you see, with this registration form I gave it to you last time, wala dia form. So, the more mo 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 taga, the more mo wala yung makalculate, the more po, ang dalik, ipakalculate na ako, puro sa INC. Okay, so, um, Karol, I will just limit for three attributes, but for your activity, it will be more. Okay, okay. Uh, since we are having short time, okay. 
So, di ba, you have to create a table in here, di ba? But, I have to create it in SQL so that you can have also to learn it. Di ba, kay, it's a dictator mo last time. Okay, to create table, this is the syntax, create table and the table name. For example, student. And then, you have the attribute, the column names, di ba? So, have the attribute name. So, you can name it whatever you have. But, my attribute will be student ID, the last name, and the first name. So, I'll just stick with the three attributes. Okay? So, basically, when I make my attribute name, it always capitalized. I always do that in, every time I have my development. In, every, in any project, I have my uh, all always capitalized because it makes me feel that I can recognize that is an attribute name for the table. Okay, dili na siya i-capitalize, it makes you much more uh, confused later on on your development. Okay, so I will just name it student ID. Nantawa ninyo all capitalized for my style. Pwede rin po na ako lowercase, but my style is student ID is uppercase. Then you have to declare what var card, what data type. Diba in you are declaring it? Diba gituluduan ng mana sa inyo database? But the same thing with the, the programming. When you type a variable, uh, uh, a variable is because uh, an attribute is a variable. There is also what kind of data you are going to store there. So that is what we call varchar is a type of data. So varchar is equivalent to string. String. What is a string? Eh, Okay, then var car, then open close parenthesis and how how many is the length you can give for the student ID number. So for example, it will, it will just give it to 15, so meaning 15 character length. Okay, what happened if you are you are going to enter 16 character length? It will be cut off. So if 16, mawala to. Have you tried that one? Have you tried to your database? So meaning, why we have to limit that one? Because of the capacity of your uh, your storage, di ba? Why? Because if you were going to put here, because the last character, how many, what is the last character for Barker, by the way? The last, uh, the maximum length of a Barker. Because if you are, if you are <coughs> having 1,000 character, then you are not allowed to use Barker anymore. You are now going to use text. Varchar is limited only for 255 char char characters. Meaning, if you set it to 55, meaning the computer set, uh, are setting memory that that, that column is set to 55. What happened if you are the expectation? You are expecting 255 characters, then you are going to So, which is used for now in development, you are not going to be able to Wala kayo yung diferensya, but in the deployment, guys, if you are going, you have the server, and there are many uh, computers connected to your server, and uh, the process of your data, sometimes may lag, makita mga mantayan, ginaninitungod kay you did not define clearly how many the character you want it to be. Because the computer are are expecting too much na gamay ra kayo. Okay? So, that one, student ID number, maybe 25 is the highest. Then, last name. Last name, I still a bar card. And last name, I guess, 25 is good also. And first name. First name, bar card. Um, again, I guess this is 50K. There are many, there are some... Uh, individuals that has a uh, longer name. Okay? Then, did you, are, are you familiar with prim primary key? Did you know what is primary key in your database? What is the word for your primary key? Huh? Huh? Uh, when you say prime, what is the, what, uh, what about, how about index? Did you discuss about indexes? Foreign key, primary key, unique key. Uy, it's a business. Huh? 
mean class? When you have, when you talk about indexes, make sure when you say primary key, uh, like us, iba, naman tayo unique key, primary key, and in the oh no, uh, primary key unique or foreign. Okay, all of us is individual. How can we, how can we distinct from anybody? Okay, as a student. You are, you are also, you are all, uh, all, all IT. You are third year or second year. So, you are not distinct from one another by course. Diba? By name, you are distinct. But there are some, which is having the same last name. Diba? Usually, some of the databases, they have primary key for the last name. What happened is, the last name can be done can be duplicated. Why? Because there, there's no such way that they only have ikaw right na family, family name ni mo kinana. Diba? So, if you were going to use also first name as your primary key, there is still a, a chances that you have the same, you have uh, an individual we have which has the same name to you. Diba? The same for the middle name. So, what are those data as a student that can make you distinct from anybody else. That is a primary, meaning a primary identifier to you that you are distinct from anybody. And that is your ID number. There's no way that there is a similar ID number in your school. Once you have, you have that ID number, you have that primary key. You are primary identifier that you are that person. Diba? Muna itawag of primary key. Diba? So, in here, you were going to set, in a database, you have to set if that is a primary key or not. Because computer is very dull. Diba? You have to set that one. So that, if, if there is a primary key, meaning there is not such a way that there is a duplication of that data. That data is a unique. Muna magawin ang unique key. The primary key is a unique. Ano ko asa inyo ha? Okay, so ano wala akong nag-discuss inyo ha. So sa about sa um foreign key, if you are your primary key is uh, transferred to another database, a table of the database. If ever lang na siya, wala pa man natutunan, ma-discuss at wa but we go we will just stop on the primary key. In these three attributes here, what would be your primary key? It should be the last name, first name, or the middle name. It is oblig uh, recommended that there is a primary key in every table. Because every table or every entity has a set of attributes. And you are going to select that set of attributes, What will be, uh, who will be the unique one. Diba? So unique one. So you cannot be, you cannot set last name as a primary key because that is not unique. Also the first name, and we have the candidate for that one, which is the student ID number. So do to declare, do to declare that this is your primary key. Then just type here, primary key, primary, primary key. Then open close parenthesis. Just the the, the attribute table, which is just uh, the attribute name, student ID. So this is now your table. Once once you are you are done of it, then you can uh, click go. Okay. So once you have now, so now say uh, create table. Many many codes. Pero sa una di ba nagagama mo table without the code by just clicking it. That this is now the table. The student. Okay. This is now what we had. We have. You go to the structure. And we have here, makita niyo man ang murag na i have dira, that is primary. We have student ID, last name, first name. We have the bar card 2550. So, usually, sa una, how you, how you, how you did it, just, just, yun sila, you just click that one. The name, how many, di ba? Which is, what is the name of the table, what is the column name, or the attribute name, then select the type, type the length, then okay man siya, because, you have to 
if you are having it uh, in the development, there is not a way that you are can you can you can type it. But the essence is, wala pong manapat ang sa code. Hindi that you don't you know what is the code because um you have the code is the the the, the most important thing, di ba? So more take code sa create table. And you can find all the tutorials here in www.discourse.com. SQL, na dito tanan. Tanan languages, query. Okay? If in case wala na sa inyo na di, 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 go on, di teach. Okay, so we have now the student. Our aim, we have now the student table. Our aim, guys, is to create a form. Like like, like a form here. When you, when you, when you uh, uh, assuming lang. When you type here, for example, a last name and a, and a first name, then ID number, then when you type sample save, it will go directly here. Delete compare sa una, now you just click here and just type here a number, whatsoever, and then insert. Then you have now the data. Diba? We don't want to do that. I don't So we don't want to do that. We will going to create our form to let the user uh, enter it to the database. Why we don't have to do that? Sorry ko naman na. So una, gagamit ang midere. Not all of us can use PC my admin. Especially, okay, a user. All of us is a user in Facebook. Di ba? But, when you create post, we enter the page my admin. <laughs> With the Facebook also have their page for my admin or their admin for your database. So they have the page we may admin is just for the administrator to see the data in there. Okay, and there is very important also. Only the CEO or the company can see the page we may admin. The developer also has all also a limitation for their because there is no such way that uh, a certain level or a, a, sim, a simple programmer can access the database because the database is the heart and soul of the company. Page to directly save the data or get the data, but you cannot actually get into here because this is the very important one. Okay, so we were going to create a page. So we had we have now our database, we have now the table. We are now go to another part which is to create a form. Okay, so follow with me lang. So ask questions for me if you have. Um, so first is you are going to create a file, a uh, new, and text a document. Okay. Then you can um, save it. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. But for ma for now, I will just name it create form that page. We have create form that page. So where we can run this file? So to run this file, you can you will go to a web browser and type your local host in the folder name you are working with, which is ITS one two six section C. Then you can see all your files there. Then you just click the create form the PHP, which is for now it is blank. Okay. So we can now start simple code for this file. Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. Right click, Notepad++. Plus plus. But before this one, let me clarify. If you go to the view, if you are using Windows 10, there is, I, I, I check item file name extension. So I can view file name and extension. When I check this one, look at look at there is no extension. So if you do not check that one, if you rename it, you can only rename for the file name. Then if you are going to create a new text document, it will be a text document. Because we want to rename also the file into a file that PHP. So make sure that this one is checked. So that you can also edit the file extension. Okay, if you don't, huh? Windows 10 and Windows 8, Windows 7, there is another way to do this one. 
just select in a search the internet how can you do that murag nga to's property or options something like that i i i, I couldn't even remember it anymore on zoom chat na ko but for now so windows then very easy go to the view and there is a file name extension okay that is my technique because maybe you are following my technique and then it is like this one for example i will create a, a, a file for example um practice the that php because this is a text document nara ang file man is practice that php that text Okay, open it, we'll save as. Pwede na siya nyo. Okay, open it. Lain na po siyang file. Hmm. Pero mas tindot, yung mara siyang i-open this, this one. Diba kabantay mo? Para ma-appel kit siya, og, edit ang file. Para pag-check on it, mo siya. Okay? Uh, okay. Para i-delete. Okay, next is, open it with, uh, edit with notepad plus plus. So we have here a uh, empty document. So we will now try to create a simple HTML document. So we have here HTML, closing HTML. We have head, closing head. So inside of the HTML, there are two parts of it, head and body. Okay. So we have head and body. So on the head, we can just put title. Okay, for example, create form. So, make sure uh, if, it, if it is red, the icon here is red, meaning, okay, the document is not, been, uh, not yet save, saved. Then, control S lang because the document is already being, being saved. So, di na ka save us. Save lang ka. Then, you go to the browser. Where is the browser? Okay, then refresh. When we say the head, the head is more on the tab information. So, when we say about the body, it starts from here up to, to the uh, last one. What is the body? So, the, the more, more codes can be found on the body. So, we have this one here. Okay, so... I will just create a header file, a header tag. I will say create form. Save. So this will look like this. Create form. So we will just go first to create a simple form. Yan na lang nato connect nang sa of CSS. Okay. So to create a form. Okay. First is you have to define the form. So when we create a form, when you say that one, when we save and let us see what happened, it is empty. Meaning, wala pa sa makita. But basically, that is a form. Every time you are making a form, there is a form tag there. And later on, I will explain what is the function of that form. Okay, first, uh, next is we will going to um, create an input tag okay to to let the user input and information oh, h1 up to h6 oh, the lower the number the bigger the text oh, no the lower the number the bigger the text the higher the number the smaller the text. Balik tada sila. Okay? Then, up to H6 lang na siya. Okay? Then, we will first create an input. Input type. Diba, last time I discussed type of input. So, adagan mo kayo no? Nata input text, password, um, date, month, button, checkbox, submit, reset, there are many forms. Okay? So, for now, a type of the input. But for now, we will going to use we will use um, text. Save. Refresh. We have now the input. Text. So, this is a text box. 
So let the user know that we are going, uh, they can have to input their information. Okay, how many input tag, uh, input, uh, input we need to have? Based on our database, we have, we have three attributes. So we need to create three inputs. Okay, so that one. Save and refresh. We have three inputs. Now, problem is, <coughs> if you are the user for this one, if you are to let to use this, the system or the page, you are not, uh, you, you cannot know where is the student ID number, where is the last name, where is the first name. Diba? So, you have to label it. Okay, so you are going to label it. So you use a label. Okay, so label. Label, meaning to label it the form. And now the input. So make a label. So first is, I will make it for student ID number. Then the second one, label. For this is for the last name, and the third one, uh, input type. Oh no, sorry, 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 sorry. Label. This is for the first name. Save. Refresh. So we have now the label. So you can now uh, have the, you can now see that this is, this tag is for the student ID number, last name, and first name. Okay. But there are some na mukha ang nyo pag yun na patuda yung quanter na ay label. Label siya na sulod. Di ba? So, matong we can have the another attribute. Okay. By the way, this is what we call tags. Di ba? Baka pwede mo. Ang naiiban ba? Kato ba tayo matunay? Student ID number. Na yung pag-type name mo mo, hala rapot siya. Di ba? Kapantay mo na. So, we have to do that. Remember that this is a tags. Nakabantay mo na ay tags, dahil yung naasya yung muraong ni Pula Dira, di ba? Red one. And is it inside the tag? And what we, that we call is also an attribute. Attribute tawag na sa external. Lahit po itong attribute sa, 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 koan, sa CSS. But if you can say, when you say attribute guys, it is support to the main detail. Meaning si, we need to say that this attribute supports the input. Meaning this is the input tag, what, what type is it? So, type is attribute. Then, you have the value of that attribute is the text. Another attribute that helps the input tag to much more efficient and much more nicer is to use the attribute tag for placeholder. So, there are specific attribute for a specific uh, element also. You cannot use placeholder to any to any element but only the input. Okay, na. Mara na yung hapong kwan. A specific attribute for a specific element. Okay. So we have placeholder. When you say student ID um, number. So save it. So this is what we have. This one. Student ID number. So that is a placeholder. When you type, it will, if empty, it will have the label. Okay. Well, but we have also when it comes to do this one, we have also the, the label. Hindi mo wala. Ano man, when you type that one, wala nang label, malibog ito mo oh. Di ba? Uh, Marabog ka po. Eh. Okay. But there are some na mga nindot tayo, they're using JavaScript. Na wala, wala na ni siya, but when you type here, mapop up ra po siya skillet na nai-label. Mga nindot na mga innovative uh, po. Eh. Pero di siya pwede na mawala ng mga label. Okay. Uh, I tried that one uh, sa una. Because I amazed with the placeholder. What I did is I removed the label. So what happened when you fill up the form? Maglipong na ako sa labila. All, all, all data are, are 
are filled, filled up. Nung lipo ka, asa mo ko last name ba ito? First name ba ito? Middle name, di ba? Which is sometimes, so you need, you don't need to remove this one. Because that is the label. This is only just for... Huh? So, guys, remember that we will going to make, we are the developer. We have to make a software for the user. So, we want the user to be uh, good in using our uh, application. So, we are not making a software for our own sake, especially for Capstone. We are not using, uh, we are making, we are not making a system for us. We are making the system for uh, the user. Especially if the user are old ones, you have to do innovative ways that make the system uh, usable to the old ones. Diba? So, di siya pwede na kani kay ako yung gamaan eh. Ako tanan. No. Remember, the last, ang pinaka-copy lang yung ani uh, as a developer is we are just the, we are just whatever the user wants them uh, wants to the system they are lang ganahan you are just to follow it okay in the first verse ha kung wala lang mga mayo sikat di kaya ka di ba so inana lang so okay I will just copy and paste since we have the same um principle but 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 just replace the place for the value for the last name okay. first name save fresh so that one uh in my case i will use br like a line break to to move this one to the next line and verse nine first thing to the next line. Okay, murag nalapaw na siya. So I will use dr dr. So di po dili na kay botang pero dili mo libo dr. Taas naman taas taas naman and dr and dr. So this is what we look. Look, look like br okay so parang matapa na sa java okay next is we have we don't have a submit button okay so we will create two buttons na lang para mas unique karon okay first button another input input and this button is for reset so para asa man si reset sir so reset button so input type yapon siya but yang uh, input siya but the type is reset yang work is just when you type something here din ganan kang i-clear nimo that is a reset so that is reset button okay if if you wish to change the reset one because that is ganan ka i-clear nimo kaya lang na reset na uh, that is the third huh? so i reset ni mo mo guba ni page so reset so okay may ngundra ka dire Value clear. So value, if wala value, the default value niya is reset. But if you're going to put here there um, uh, a value, it will reset. It will replace the reset. Ah, uh, the clear to reset. So mani may tabo clear siya. So mas nindo siya kami naon super atong reset, di ba? Okay. So we have now the reset. Okay. The next button we have to work with is input type submit. Okay. So when you submit, right? mo when you submit, you have to you have to load the page or to translate to the other page, right? To submit because this is only the form. You are going to submit the form to any page that has to process the form. So that is for the submit. So now, for now, it will uh, it will submit to the yung kaugalingon lang. You can see, ni load rasa. If you are going to change the submit value there, same thing for the clear value lang. And say for example, um, create so, or something insert data. For example, the save and refresh. So we have the insert. 
we have name example insert data then it will now when you click this one automatic it will save it to this table ano to table na to this one so muna to ah so we have now the form ah huh? wala pa to na connect ato to mayroon ay Uh, uh, well, form, form pa da, form. Napunta sa form. Uh, so, ato mo nang buhat, ano ni, magamak ng form, di mo sa to, gamak na to. Okay, for now, this form is not, wala po na siya yung buot. No, wala po na siya yung function. Wala po na siya yung characteristic to go to the database. But, our plan, di ba, ang atong plan is to, uh, to connect to the database and whatever the data here, will be inserted to the database. Muna ito ang main goal for, for this one. Okay. Going back to this form, di ba natay form? Yeah. Okay, form is very important because it is the, if you have the form, you have where you are going to transfer that, well, when you click the submit, where you can uh, uh transfer it or submit it or what kind of method you are going to submit it. Muna siya ito ang button. So, on sa form, there are two methods. We have the action. Ano, two methods. Ano, two attribute. We have the action. When you say action, when you press this one, the submit button, asa siya ni mo ilabay? Asa ni mo siya i-transfer? Kaman tayo, pag lag ini mo, na hindi siya ilabay, di ba? There are some, when you log in, when you register, there are page, na hindi siya mo-reload siya or something na mo-mura siya o hindi siya mo-stay on a page yan. For example. So, meaning, in on our case, we will go in, when, the, when we click the submit button, when the insert data is clicked, it will be, uh, it will go to the other, other page. So, I will transfer it to another page When you say another page, meaning another file. Because in a web development, if there is a page, another file mo po natin, di ba? So, another page or file, so meaning kong create process that page. So, meaning, when you, when you, when you save the, when you click the button, it will go to the create process that page. So, mo ni siya. So, refresh. When you click the insert data, it will go to the create process of PHP. Did po siya nimo ilabay na nakuha ninyo uh, idea. So, pag-click nimo insert data na ay create process. So, dito na siya nimo ilabay. Okay. Sa create process of PHP, dito na to gamat o connection sa database. So, nandiyan siya na to. Saan na to pag-save sa data, dito na to i- i- i-configure sa nandiyan. Dito ang code. So, ato na si parit page siya para dito mong dito. This page is more on form. Second, Uh, another file will be the processing para hindi ta malibog. Okay, so um, nasapta ng action pero huwag ma-reset ka ni guys di oya po assume na dito na ma-transfer kaya ma-reset. Ang trabaho sa reset is just to clear the data from the form. Muna i-reset. Yeah. Okay, basing magama mo niya mo o import type submit na yung submit i-reset ninyo. Kasi sige mo click yun lang yung mo quanter. Okay, ngayon naman, okay, nagkatibulaag na inyong codes ba? Nagkabailo, in base insert data, nabutang sa reset, na ang clear, na submit, na pag clear nyo, submit noon. Di ba? Kaya magkabailo. Remember, reset, the, the work for the reset is to clear the data from the form. From the, the work for the submit is to submit data wherever the action leads you to go. Muna siya for the So, kani si submit o si action connected na silang duha. O, pwede rin man po kay Ani, o. Oh. Sabot anong submit, guys. Kung may enter ka, may enter ka sa data, keyboard enter. Ito ba ako dito? Okay, event driven mo na siya. Submit man siya. Meaning, in a way that you click the button or just press the enter. Ito ba ako na dito? Duha na siya kayo, Ani. Okay. Now, we have the next one is the method. The second attribute is the method. So, method. This is the scenario. You have, you have transfer. Gilabay ni mo ang file. So, once gilabay ni mo ang file, there are data there which is 
on the form, then pag-click ni mo of submit, imong gilabay siya. Na ang pangata na diya, na yung method. Ang method, unsa yung paagi sa paglabay ni mo. Oh, diba? Gilabay ba siya ni mo na, na softly, o gilabay ba siya ni mo na wala salka. Diba? So, unsa man, method is, there are only two methods, two value for the method. It's either get or post. So, ato na siya yung equal. So, it's either, it is a get or, or a post. Okay. First is, we have the get. Because get is the default. Even though we don't have put their method, automatically, the default one is get. So, default na siya ang get. Kung magamit ka get there, oh, okay, rapot na siya. Effort, effort na ka. Okay, kung na-i get there, o wala-i get na, same mo na na siya. Because the default one is get. So, when you, when we, we assume that the default one is get, so what, so assuming that there is a data here, example, then for example, isa may mga lead covers to dimension. Oh, then talaw. Okay, so now, Pagkawa man ani, insert, as you can see, error, not found. Hindi pwede ko rin nga lang ni Sil. Create, okay, wala mo taka process na create that data, di ba? That is why we don't have to find. Okay, but my question is, saan ni Gana? Ito nga ni Gana. Kuha na ka method, no? Okay. Default one is get. Okay, kung natagutan method. Okay, get. Sige, ito yung get lang. So, assume yan we are using the get. Okay? So, Rizal, Jose. Insert data. We are using the get data. When you insert that one, Di ba ako mouse? Okay. Okay, we forgot something there. Okay, that is why I... Okay, before we go to the process that rates is, we have a lacking requirement before we were going to proceed. You are the user of this one. Assuming that you are the user, so if you are going to use this example page, you can now able to Fill it clearly, di ba? You can fill it up clearly. You can type here. Your ID number, last name, first name, and whatever, di ba? Now, if you are a developer, how can you know the data inside of this input? Input. Remember that these five elements here are all input. Di ba? Mura ni siya o estudyante, na ilima ka buk estudyante. On saan ni mo siya pagtawag sa specific na student? Okay, very good. Na siya ay name. Now, in your attribute there, there is no name here. But only type. Yeah. Remember that one. We cannot just call na type text because there are only three text. Yeah. So, sakto tong ingon ni Retes, We should call it by name. Balag pareho silang input, but there is a name intended for the individual tag so that we can, as a programmer, we can identify them. Diba? And that is what... Okay, so to do that, we add another attribute which is the name. And this name is the identifier of that element. Para ang tawag ng sinin mo, kung naa siya, kung naa yung ngalan. Okay, o karoon inaanin, wala'y name. Sagoy mo ni sila kayo, huwag mo ni mga ngalan. How can you, how can you work with the form without every element is not, ah, dili matawag. Importante everyone, because every day, every field has a data. So you must get the data first. So now, in order to get the data, you have to set the name. Okay, you can you have the name attribute and you can name it whatever you want. For example, in this case, I will just name it to stud ID. So this element has a name for stud ID. Okay, another one. So una na kay student ID ay napunagamita. 
eh, di po, di po na pareha sila ang ngalan. Di ba? So, this one, this is for the last name. So, this is L name. We're assuming. So, you can name it whatever you want. As long as it is a one word. One word lang ha. Ayaw ito word. Di ba? Kasagaran din sa programming. Di ba? Wala ako mag-go to word. More on one word. Okay. Then, last is the... Okay. Name for... F name. Do we need to create a name for the reset? Okay. Or the submit? No? Pero, for the reset... For me, or bili na siya kay yung gamit niya, click on reset. But for the submit, we can name it because we want to check if the form is click or not. Diba? So, itong saan mo na ito na. So, we will not, uh, we will name it to, for example, uh, BTN submit. Meaning, button submit, for example. So, Button reset, hindi naman siya magamit kay yung trabaho. Mira man, ah. Murag wala naman siya. Murag man yung trabaho. So, ay, ragot na nga. Ang name kay, we ha, uh, ang button, ang submit, katong isa dita, eh, nasa, nasa, ibutan itong papel, ano. Okay, so, save. Now, look at the data. On the form, ha. We, we managed to transfer the data. Uh, we managed to transfer a page, but... Our our method we use is get. Okay. If there's a get, this is what we what the data use of paglabi ang data. The example of the of the ID number Rizal and Jose. So when you insert data, you can see now it is transferred to the create that PHP, and the data you have entered is transferred to the URL. One time mo, ngalan sa ID, student ID, di ba? Ang value niya, 1 to 1 to. Yung L name, di ba? Sa L name, yung value niya, Rizal. Yung F name, Jose. Yes. Yung button submit, insert plus data. So meaning, the data is transferred to the create process that page page using to the URL. Which is nice, di ba? Okay. How about na po i-log in? Na mo gamit ko get, is it okay? Type type ko dire password ba? As password ko dire. Eh yung dili makita kung password dire kuno han. Pak, pag click na login in pak, so dito nakita ko password dire. Uh, which is not secured. Then, di ba? Dili pwede. Oh, hide. So basically, ato to no. This is for the get. Ang get is to transfer data to another file using the URL. Una ay get. Transfer data or pass data using the URL. Dahil yung natay last one which is post. Post. And this is the, the post. Tap the, any data. Dahil yung insert data only created process. No data is transferred to the URL but it is transferred into an HTTP request. We cannot see it, but there is a cache behind it. Meaning, cache ka na ganing-ganing mga data inside of your browser. Diba? Kamantay mga na ganing. Mga visit kagbagong mga websites yung mga cellphone. There is a cookies. Can you click? Oh, okay. Diba? Diba? Manang hit sila. There are configuration. Ano man na siya, guys? When your browser visit the first Visit first up. Uh, visit the new website. It takes time to load. Ano man all the information to the website. Iyan pang download content. Iyan pang download tanan. Pero once the website is only na nakaregister na dia, pas pas na kayo ang pagload, di ba? Second time, third time, pas pas. So like with mo Facebook.com, inyong iklear tanan cache history tanan sa yung Google sa yung browser. First time ni mo siyang ilimpio tanan. Facebook.com ba? Loading yung tayo. It takes minutes. Yun. Kita ng mga images, ito ng mga CSS styling, ito na yung pang i-download press ko. Pag ikaduan yung visit, Ana, wa na. Dali na kayo. Nakasula yung mana. Na ID na siya, ingon na ko. Uh, it, it is the reason. So, kani, we transfer the data using a post uh, method that sends its TTP request in an invincible way, but there is a data transmitted. 
Nakuha ninyo. So, asa mas nanindot? Get or post? Post. But there is a scenario we can use get. Okay. Every login and registration containing information or data which is connect, uh, which is uh, confidential like password, do not use get. Do not use get, you guys. Ay namina mo, to naagay password or any information which is credential, adding confidential, do not use a get method. Why? Because the data will transfer to the URL and can be, can, can easily seen by anyone else. Munandili, pwede mo gamit ka of get. But use post instead for using um, mga na ay mga confidential data. But most likely, I uh, I I am the user. I am a user of post. Talag sa kung gamit o get for a certain narajis something ko because we cannot also ignore get because there are many also many um, benefits of using get. You you have search in Google, de ba? When you search in Google, the the ganon kaya you are sa taas. They are using get. Most of the uh, Google are using get get na ang Google. So, there are some good na ways that we cannot uh, abandon get because there are some functionality na we need to embrace the get. Okay, tungo sa to ang complexity sa itong trabaho. Okay, so, question for the entire form. Wala na? Any question? Uh, I will just uh, upload po ni Tarang Tito. Gara-record na mabuk ko. Para sa mga latecomers, kay kanilang, o, oh, gare-record na ko, anak, kay, bagay na, alat otso, wala ko man. Okay, so, I will just render it, I will just, go, go, uh, we will just ask me a copy for, on Monday. Ha? Huh? Okay, so, no problem for the form. Wala na problema. We can now create another PHP file, and we will name it to create process.php. By the way, guys, if you can, if you are going to encounter this error meaning there are only two reasons behind this one it's either you don't have this file which is correct uh, which is good uh, which is correct for our mo for this moment but it, it's either the url is not uh, located the, uh, successfully or wala good siya ang page dira wala pa nagama or sa ang url nakuha ninyo duwara na so, pain na na na. Wala ng file or sa'yo ang URL. For our instance, wala pag ita kagama sa ito ang file. Manang not found, meaning may error. Okay, so, we will create this one and we will name it to what is the name of it? Uh, name text. Uh, Gumataglaing file. Create process that so we have now that file so when we try to when we try to enter data okay it's now a blank document meaning this is now connected but the document is uh okay, empty now we want before we go first to the other file but there is what we call validation Validation for the form. We want to enter the data. We want the user enter a data, not to submit a data, a blank data. The auto karono, the tao na to insert data, blank, submit a check data. And we don't allow to save the, a blank data on the database. Diba? So, ang process ana, we call it form validation. When you say validation, meaning, diba kaman time mo na ay, okay. Record ang um, username, record ang um, password. Password does, it, does, it, does not match to the, the, the ba, before the form. Dagang kayo mga sisiguritse na password character must have this one. So that is what we call form validation. We want to validate the form because we don't want to enter data which is also man, mga empty or sa padira. Okay. Now, form validation takes time. Depending of the validation you were going to set on the form. But for now, HTML5 has its own form validation. We will use the form validation for HTML5 for now since we don't have any time. 
but I do not recommend it for you. Especially if you are now, if you were going to use it on your final project. Meaning final project for your capstone project. Dili ko final project karon. Okay, on yung pa capstone project. Kay, in an IT uh, world, HTML5 validation is not recommended. It's only for 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 the beginners like you guys. When you when you escalate your programming language, programming language and skills, you do not allow to, to to use that one. Okay? You were going to make your own form validation. Meaning kanang mga M1 na validation. For now, sa so wala time, we will use the HTML5 validation. Okay? So to use that one Okay, another na pud siyang attribute to the form. Ay na pud diri ba? Gayna na kadugang tao, name. Karon mo dugang na pud tao, another attribute, ito ang pinakalas na lang. You can name it, you can put it whatever wherever you want. For me, I will just name it, I will just put it at the last part. This is the validation required. So when you type required, guys, what happened? When you submit there, okay, di na siya masyad, fill out this field. So, muna siya ipasawat ano. So, you cannot enter the data unless, di ba, na kay data required. So, hindi siya required. So, tama lang natin siya of required for now. Oh, required. So, ay, rin po, buta nga po ng boto na required kay, eh, sige, hindi mo na pa-click on this lang. Ay, ora. Ang kinahanglan na i-record niyo, magkaturang mga info. Okay. Ah, magkiyaw. Kung hindi ka mag-click o clear, pag-click ko niyo mag clear. Ayaw. So, kung ano na siya. So, insert data. So, the, 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 if kamoy mo ka ma-validation, mas nicer. Kaya kamoy may maka-customize. Ano. Kani, bati man ni Kai. Okay. okay. Import ka. Import ka. So, yung... Insert, oh, okay. Mag-click ko na po itong clear. Okay. Input, the insert data. So, osa ka pa ka pa ka. Uh, you can now go to, you can submit data unless you have filled out the form. Mora man ay importante. But, ganong delete ni mo, ganong kaya delete ko ni, delete mo siya allowed for us to use it on your form here. Because it's very simple, it's very, very easy to hack. Just right click this one, inspect element. Because in inspect element, you can see the code here. And you can manipulate the codes in here. And when I when I delete the required here, iba ganina, maka-enter man. Di ba na validation? Karon, when insert data, sunod na siya. Easy kayo. Sa high school, kabuluha to. So, meaning, delete siya pwede kung moset kag validation only HTML5 but i have to tell you na na validation HTML5 for just for the beginner pero mga advanced gani mga advanced mga more on final project ng capstone di na na pwede imo na jud for validation ibugong bungkagon na nako makasulod ko gili remember that you are going in a, in developing a software you have to also be Ah, uh, kana ganing kabulo ka sa imong gama. So manang usually mga mga bangko, mga dagkong kompanya, they were use they were hire a, a, a white hacker. Meaning they will go yung trabaho is just to make a loophole or mga something na asa pwedeng masudlan at sa data kay para the, the, the developer can also upgrade the way the codes. Kay ana man good na, ikaw developer, mingud ka wala sa yung program. Ikaw, kung yung gama. Diba? So, may gang, okay na. So, you were going to hire somebody to bypass your system and to test. So, muna po kang i-install yung tanan, uh, mga white hackers. Muna yung mga akong ibuat, masudan akong data, may nakuha na ako, hiyatag na sa hacker. So, hacker na po yung mag-analyze. Ah, hacker naman. Ang developer na po yung mag-analyze. Ano na, nung nung nalopsan ko, ano na, nung nalopsan ko, to make, to improve the system. Because without white hacker, the system cannot, cannot, Ah, uh, go on. Dili di, di mo grow, di ba? Na, may gay ng white hacker. May tawag ng white, white hacker. Okay? A hacker inside of your company. Okay, wala na siya. Ba itong out of black hacker may naka sulod na. Dapong problema na sa company. Mga na siya. So, may sali ka na. 
Because why we have to do this? Why we have to form validation? Why we have to implement validation to every input field? Remember, your system, your PHP my admin, your database is the heart and soul of your system. Remember, you are creating a form, a small window to go to the PHP my admin. With this small window here is the eye opener to every program. Muna inyo ha. Eh nga naman, this is the pathway, a small pathway that goes to the database. Nakuha ninyo? Ano hindi taha dire masulod sa database? So na ay gamayin blanko na, gamayin window na muna ay possibility sudlan sa mga attacks. Muna siya ay pinakauna ninyo. So muna ang importante yun ng mga force na na ay validation. Okay, di ba natay system? Di ba natay database dire? Di ba grabe? Dere ang database, dere ang game ang database na nata doon dere ang system for example. Nata yung mga form, yung mga form para mga window. Pero dini mo na sa lahon, ang sulod niya, na ipasibol, nata ng mga hacker, sulod sa game. Di ba? So kinala sa lahon, dini mo na mga window dere. Kaya kani mga form ma dere, mo na mga window na ginagamay. Na possibility, mo sulod. Kaya kani mga data hato na, kani mga dere na window, mo na mo sulod o gawas sa system. Di ba? Kaya the system is not vulnerable enough. Adili siya vulnerable yun. But naaragit siya ay gamay na siya naman. Muni, muni mga field na naatakihon sa mga hackers. Okay? So once we have now that, done that, okay? Okay. So it's a table. So we have now. Okay? So we can now go to the create process that page speed. Okay. In here. Right click, edit with Notepad++, and we mm -hmm. have now that blank file. And this file is more on PHP. So this is the PHP script, this is the opening PHP script, and this is the closing PHP script. So, this is now the PHP file. Okay, this is now you are going to set connection to the database, this is where you are going to insert data to the data, uh, to get data from the form, and Lastly, you are going to insert to the database. This is now the real magic. Magic. The real magic na itabo. Itong sa una, form natin yung gama. Karon, this is now the process. But first, we have to check if the the user really click the button. Ano naman? May ibang mga user na marukoy kayo. Because remember, ang may nakabati sa procedural way of web development. Gihatag na ni mo dahil ang file. Di ba? Kabalo sa daan na amo ni file at amo ni kung i-access po hon. So, meaning, for example, naka sa create form that PHP, pwede ka kabalo ka ito, pwede na kabalo sa create process that PHP. Di mo kanha, ragasin ko diya. Without, without clicking. Di ba? Pwede na binang binuaan ka diya akong binang binuaan. So, ikaw as a programmer, you have to set you have to know na execute ang yung insert command kung maklik ning uh, ayaw ayaw sa performa kung mani ang hirap sa direct create process sa page 2 so, uh, so dayon kinahanglan <coughs> maagi yun sa direct nakuha ninyo akong point okay okay so in order to do that this is the code first is this is the code the, this is what we call the global variable code Okay, and this is the global variable get. Para sa mga sir, this is how you are going to get data from the form. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Dio underscore. Okay. Okay, so kung mo buhaton na ni, mo ni mo buhaton. Open close bracket that one. Okay, depende ni siya. Kung isa, 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 sa form ni mo, gagamit ka og post, ang imong gamiton, post. Pero huwag mag-get siya, is dara po di siya og get. Mora mo na, post og. Ha? Hindi na pwede. Meaning, o post ni siya, kinala mo post. Kaya yung mag-get ka, dito na makuha. Mawag na siya, pinaka-basic ana. Hindi na sila mag-abot. So, so kinanglan, kung get the re, Ah, uh, get target. Get target kun dire kung post post mo na siya. <laughs> Wala na siya ingon na 
Kaya lang mo, wala ako sa gula nun. Post, post, get, get. Mora gina siya. Parang ako na siya, ako na siya. Kano siya? Dua ka single quotation. Now, may tabuan eh. How can you determine the tag? Sumotong so, name. Ang sulod ani, motong name. For example, stud ID, last name, first name, and button submit. Those are. So, ang atong i-really i-check ko na ito ron. Ang atong i-check na. Kasi mga button. Kaya sila ang check yung address sila ng form. Ah. So, kanis na ito na. Di ba natin i-form? Ayan, method post. So, tanan ani, post na siya tanan. Pag mo get po ka, get mo sa tanan. So, muna ang dia po, mag-determine imo ang imo ang dito sa imo ang method na dire. So, connected na siya. Muna ang post ka. Ah. So, dire, first na itong button, kwao na ito ang value sa submit, weekend submit. Kaya nga naman, mag-check po man ito kung na-click. Diba? So, kaya itong kwao on. Okay. Ibutang na ito. Diha. Kwa rin nyo. So, BTN submit. Okay. Ang atang button is, i-check na ito kung na-click mo niya o wala. Okay. So, this is now. So, we get the data from the button submit. Kani. Okay. But we have to check if check if na click o wala. Ang saan mo na natoron in a programming way na check o wala. So na atay function na iset ang iset na function is to check is to check kung na abay value na nag submit or wala. Na abay value nag submit o wala. So mo nang check iset. Oh, ining iset is ining iset ba? So ining naset ba siya? So mo na siya. So, Oh, maklik ni mo. Ano ba kana? Maklik na ni mo bodol siya. So, is set. So, imo button, mo gamit ka if statement. Isulod sa ni mo sa if statement so that you can perform some ta uh, task for if na set pa siya or wala na siya na set. So, nakuha na niya po. So, more on programming na siya. Ngayon na more on layout. Oh, kani, abi niyo na kalitawas na mag ikat it is Sabihin niyo, huwag wala ni speech thing. Tanan. Ito yung nakatanan sa proof of first year. Muna gila tanan. Tanan programming language. Mga binabig na tanan. Diba? Conditional statement. Okay. Remember, how to output how to output information in page speech is very easy. Just use echo. This is equivalent to ito? Output system out that print line. This is equivalent to system out that is line. Taas dito na system out that is line. Dari lang, echo lang. Asa ma mas din doon ano eh. Echo. Echo lang, out that is line. So we have click. So meaning na click siya, dari. Na yung umdili, echo. Okay, ito ito bypass. So this is the, this, this meta, this, if statement, check if the button is clicked or not. Why? Because we don't want to we don't want to proceed if wala siya na click, di ba? We want to proceed na na click siya. So when we save it, okay, then okay, we try na to type of information, we insert data, so click, click, no click, click to. Ay sorry kaya na. Uh, control di asob na ko ah. na uh, duplicate na ko sorry so insert data so click so nakabalo ang ang imuang process that php no kung na click mag wala so if pwede po siya itran pwede po siya ni mo i-modify na ka mo type yung mga create process that php enter kabalo po siya bypass uh, so nakuha ninyo ang ato sinaryo okay, we don't want na mag-type type procedure yun, yung mag-proceed sa dito. Wala mo agi o click. If we want to check if na-click ba siya or wala. So make sure to that one. So muning, natay if statement, dire. Na atong, di nila na siya, ingo na i-bypass na ito. Atong button, if makabalo ang system na ni-bypass siya, ibalik na siya siya ang kawali mo page. Parang balik-balik na siya. So, muna yung natay function in PHP, which is, this is a function, a built-in function, he, header. So, imuna ito, i-call a header function. Dahil yung, 
asa man na location. Dayo, i-type ni mo tong URL, uh, tong file na ganani mo siyang i-balik. So, doon naman tayo create form that page di ba? So, muna tong ibutang, ibutang dire. Create form that page page. So, what will happen is this. When you type here, when when they type ra dire, when they enter, mubalik ra dyan kung create form. Kasi kung saan niya, o kung hindi siya ka-bypass ba? So, pag create, oh, create process, pag enter, balik ra dyan kung sa dia. So, di na siya. So, hold ba dita? Ang nagamay, ang nagamay security. So, ito na na-eliminate ang mga possible na pwedeng threat sa ito ang system. So, next na to Stop na ninyo ni? Else, kanin? Oh. So, kanin submit, kanin siya. Gikuha na to ang value sa button submit. Kaya yung gibutang na itong e-set para ma-check kung nakabay value o wala. Then, gibutang na itong if statement. So, to check yun. To, uh, so, to check kung um, nakaba na wala akong isit. Dayon, kung na-check siya, okay, echo click, pero wala siya na-check, okay, header location, ibalik lang siya sa iyahang previous na form. Okay, so wala na, wala na ito, concentrated na ito. Okay, so wala na question? Okay, so we can now concentrate. Okay, first thing na itong buha ito is to get the value Whatever the data on the form, we can get the value. Oh. Oh. So to get the value, the same thing ani. On sa rin mong button, variable underscore post. Dayon, we have here. Ako pwede tingalan ato? Oi. Punto naman rin. Okay. So... What if, what is the na other name dito? Natay Student ID Student ID Kapihon Okay Huwag ka po yan mag-type guys For example na ako takulang keko Control D na na Duplicate Ha? Kaya mo raman jap na diba? Di yung L name Di yung uh, M name Basta using notepad lang ka uh, Student ID Last name, per sakto ba ni? We will check to the ID, F name, last name. Sa itong spelling, make sure to have a correct spelling kaya mag-error na siya. Meaning, hindi siya nakitaan ng mga hangalanan. Make sure na connected yun sila by the use of the name. Alara, pukirat mo na siya, gilip pa sa unod. Basta kayo magtawag na ano yung magkila. Kay, for testing purposes na magtaw. Diba? Uh, for testing purposes. Okay, we don't want to use every time I click, click. Di ka bulog, di ba? Na-click, di ba? Ang mga mga pag-click na to, masisig dito, di. Muna gina siya. Yan wala. May muna mo na yung final. Okay, once na na yung madilip access, mo, makuha na siya. Uh, Padubang sa kuha. Uh, sa, sa, sa header location. Okay, so, next thing na itong buha to, guys, uh, is to store this data into an individual variable. So, ito siyang i-store. Parang, di na tayo mag-seek type type anong dollar sign, this purpose. Di na tayo mag- di na tayo mag- ano ba? Mag- design, mag- type type. So, ito siya i-store into individual variable. So, I can name it variable ID, for example. So, nakalindot sa PHP kaya di na ka mag-define o kung saan variable type. Type of data, di ba? Dikta na kag-ID, variable name, din dikta na. Sa Java kay, may mo siya, int num1, int num2, karoon wala na nila ni Direk. Nakalindot ra Direk kay, may mo siya kag, L name is equal to that one, F name is equal to that one. So, meaning, this ID calls this information, this last name calls this information, this F name calls this information. So, it is now stored in individual variable. So, when wa, can we check that one? How how to check that one? We echo the data. Mag-output na itong data na itong i-input. Meaning, we are have an assurance na okay ito ang code. So, ano na? Echo lang ni mo. Echo ID. So, i-save ni mo siya. So, remember the ID atong tarongan. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bakang. Shit. Shit. Okay. 
Sakto ba spelling, guys? Anong spelling mo lang? Okay, remember, atong gay ko ang number dito. Atong tryan kung pag si insert na ito, ma-output ang number. Insert. Okay, sakto. So, meaning, uh, okay na ito. Kukuha na itong ID number dito, atong gay ko. Next is, atong i-output ang uh, L name. Save. So, what will be that? Output. Okay, but um, last is the F name. Save. We have Israel. Okay, so meaning, this data or uh, this syntax is good. Why? Because we managed to get the data from the form. Okay? So, wala na tanong. Nakuha, na, na, na type form. Na, na check na nato na na-click ang button. Dahil yung nakuha na nato ang data. So, kung saan ko lang ang pag-insert na lang sa database. But, before ka mo-insert sa database, kinangalan kang na ang kay connection. Para mag at kung matulog sa mugete, kabulog mag-ata ang dalad. Kaya basi niya, mag-ata ang kapaman mo yun. Na ato ka o dumagete. Diba? So, you have to make a connection of it. So, how to make a connection? So, this is the function for the page view MySQL I. Nakalindot po kayo ni page view MySQL kaya katapad na sila ba? Nung dali kita ang makakakon kaysa yun sa kaysa sa page sa Java si Parit Mood na NDT maglisod tayo sila dito. Ako ng plano yun sa Java ragi tayo ng inyong eh. Pero ay, uh, ako so na ako simplify sa auto ako po maglibog kay Kasi ako gani, magka-repeat ako pisa ko ato. Kaya kabalo ko sa how to flow it, but in individual codes, di na po ma siya ma-explain kung kung kailangan kayo siyang uh, bato-bato. kay ang yung configuration na good, si Pai, kung hindi sila ako. Nakarindi sa PHP kay si Muranos lagsagol na giba. Okay, so next thing itong buhaton is of the connection. So this is the function. My SQLI underscore connect. This is the function that connect to the database. But, you have to, to, to give four parameters. O pat ka parameters. O pat ka information. O pat ka data rather to, to, to able to connect them to the database. The first parameter is the host. The second parameter is the username. The third parameter is the password. And the fourth parameter is the database name. O pat na. Una, host. Ikadawa, username. Ikaw pa, password. O may kal. Ikaw pa, magkatulo dito. Then, ikaw pa, database name. Ikaw pa, itong mention, marag usap pa itong naibalaan. Itong database name. Di ba, kapag itong database name, itong database name, nga di rin. Ang itong database name na ito? Kung mouse, so di ba, una po. Okay. So, natay IPS underscore 126 underscore C. This is our database. So, pat na gimension o para to ang nakabalaan. So, asa mabalaan tong tulo? You go to page with my admin. You click the home. So, pinaka home yun. Or you can also ser click the server my squad port 3306. Then, na ni mga options dire. And we go to user accounts. You click the user accounts. Then, there... Are oh, there are four okay four default accounts. So katong mga 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 Si Ruth. So, may nang, eh, may butang dito, may SQLI, then may yung kang local host, may local host man siya, then yung username, root, then password, wala yung password, to blank, then the database name. So, the four parameters needed to connect, we can now, we can able to connect because we know it already. So, sa ato nito, if perform nato na siya, okay, local host, Kama root, that is the username, kama 
Password wala may password. Kasi kung buta mo no, no kay no dito, no. Wala si password ni wala si password ko blank po siya. Okay? Then we have ITS underscore one two six underscore C. So this is your connection. How to check your connection? Uh, just simply save. Save and then refresh. Kung wala yung error dia successfully connected na siya. Muna ito sa bot anak. Okay, kung nana yung error, bubutangan ni mo na siya password na no. Diba? Kung wala mo yung password, diba? Eh, diba? No. Butangan ni mo na password na no dia. Error na na yung connection. Nara na yung error dia. Na MySQL connect, access denied for user root. Localos, okay, using password here. So, meaning, na error na makita. Kung na kayo mga error na makita dia, meaning you are having a problem for the connection. Wala mo na si password dia. Example, na si Piat kagbutang kong database. Nagbutang ka ni mo diag D. For example, na wala yung database ha, wala yung database ha. Uh, wala yung database ha. So, when you re refresh that one, yung ato siya na unknown database ITS 16D. So, naa siya yung error. Meaning, if pag ni mo dire, no error at all, meaning, your connection is good. Nakuha ninyo. Okay, so na error, na ipulang magkita ni mo dire. And you can just read the error and you can understand that one. Ang problema mong good nyo, makita mong error mo, makita mong abat. Di ba? Makita mong abat, matalantar na. Kung saan na ni, kung saan na ni. Di ba? But, Good thing on tang error gives you the idea na asa da pita, asa ang linya ha, o sa ikaw sa error, that is good. Dili mo madlock error. Pasalamat kayo mo na error. Because sooner you are, you have to develop your programming skills, na lang tayo maitabog mga runtime error. Kasi mga runtime error, mga error na wala siya error, na kayo ganang ipaklik, na di siya muklik, na kung saan niyong sulbad, di ka sulbad, Mungunong kag tungas o tungas adlaw, sinulbad na ng anang problema ha, na malipay na lamang kag makita kag error. Kaya nga yung kalipay na lang, na error para mag-guidance ka na, ah, si Yutmi. Kaya nga yung saka error, kaya nga runtime error, na mag-wak na lang yung ulo, binulong anang error ha, wak ba juga kita anang error ha? Oh. Na, mudi na siya. Pero, to tell you honestly guys, if you are doing a programming work, Pag matulog ka, marag ako din yung utok. Na sometimes na nakaiguna ko na, marag na ay na ay ideas yung utok na muna yung buwata. So na yung dati sa time mo, 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 wakonta ka sa so, team notebook, parang pagkaugma, kaya pagkaugma yung nanaan, wala rin muna. Muna mong ibuwat sa una. Every time, muna yung mga, 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 tawag na, tawag na yung mga, ilahabang mga testimonies, mga programo na. Yung mga bago pa. Kaya yung pukawan ka sa idea, kaya nakikig problema na lang. Pukawan ka sa idea, kaya nalang hindi na sulaton, yung patawag mo na. Wala na na idea. Uh, na 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 siya. Something na na kayo mga buwat. Okay. Kung matulog ka, magamang kag-program. Matulog ka, magmurara po, magamang program. Utok, siya galing. Utok, saan, saan. Kaya muna muna. Na 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 siya. And for the beginners, na na siya. Even though sa uban po, na na yung mga kapasang po, sa nakadevelop na na yung mga bagong problema, because there's no such thing na wala yung problema. Wala yung problema. Natural mo na as yung programming. Okay, so we have now the data na ito nakuha sa form. We have now the connection. Then we will now perform the query. This is now hapit na ta, moment sa create. To perform the query, to insert data to the database, this is the query. Dili itong click, click, click ha. Itong query yun, nagsintak. This is the syntax. Insert into then what table you are going to insert? Okay, the table for student. This is the name of the table. We automatically na maka this is now selected to the SQL connection. So you know what how what is the table? That is the student table. So we can insert into student. Then open close parenthesis the columns of this table. Diba? Ano yung column na tayo? Student ID, last name, first name. So yung may butang din eh. So then, ID, last name, first name. Only to separate it with comma. So, di din na siya kinanglan ipasunod. Pwede rin na siya niyong ibailo-bailo. Wala yung problema. I just make it similar arrangement to this one. 
student ID, underscore ID. So whatever the spelling here and whatever the uh, the, uh, the casing which is capitalized, you need to follow it here. So that magka coincide. Okay, very good. Then the you have now you are you are so insert into the student. Money ma columns ni mung imung insertan. Then you have to take the values. Murag taas na kayo no? Ato na lang siyang i... Ano na siguro? And we have... Values. Ano sa mga mga values? So open close parenthesis again. So ano sa mga mga values? So muna yung mga values na yung insert sa dito. Diba? So muna yung mutang ka din. Open close parenthesis. As open close. Open quotation. Open quotation. Yung mga kang ID. Kama. Variable L name. Kama. Okay. Variable S name. So, whatever the data here, uh, whatever the variable name, let me put it. Can you see ID? Para niya. Ang last name, para niya. First name, para niya. Kaya mag-bailo ni siya, pwede siya, may insert na siya, pero nag-bailo yung data pag save. Hindi mao. So, kung um, 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 mo siyang rearrange, kinang lang, i-rearrange po ni mo ang imo ang values. E, pasagot ane, pasunod ni siya. Kani siya na first, di ba, para niya, kani siya, para niya, kani siya, para niya. Mo na siya, iyahang, iyahang pasunod. Now, since this is the query string, wala pa tayo na execute, this is the query string, so this is to enclose with a quotation because this is a query string pa. Ibutang lang siya na ito o variable na query. So basically, when you save this one, you save this one and refresh in here, wala pa na yung save database. Di pa na mag-take yung yung browse. Wala pa na siya. Wala pa na tanan because this is only a query. So meaning a query string. Meaning it is a string. Ibo siyang i-output. Ibo siyang i-query. I-save ni mo. Ang output niya mo ni query. Okay. Scala nun. Save. Refresh. Yung muna nun. It's only a text po na siya. Pero makita ni mo na uh, whatever the data did to, diba? 2, 2, 3, bakang siya. So muna yung mga initial stages pa. So muna ni, nanay, murag, nanay ni siya, muna ni, command sa, sa PHP, sa MySQL, na muna ni, insert ni, insert yung data ha dito. So muna ni, hapit na. So any question so far? Wala na. Ganahan na mong basing yung database. One last na yun siya na function. And this function is what we call mysqli underscore query. So this is your how you are going to connect with how you are going to perform into the database. There are two parameters needed in this function. First is the connection and second is the Query. Query. Now we have now that this one. This is the query and this is the connection. We want to store this connection into a variable para magamit na to. Very. So, ato sa store. Variable connection, for example. So now we have now the connection, we have now the query. Para asa din siya, di gamit niya sa query. Di ba? Di gamit. Wala, wala din siya. Wala po ding query. So, all, all of these variables are working together. Okay, so, first parameter is the connection. The second parameter is the query. So, I guess this is the end for the create. We will try. Save. Okay. Then we will try to okay insert data. We will say okay blanco. Okay, since wala mong tayo output something dito, kaya dikta rin mag-mysql-i, diba? But you go to the database, quick browse, you have now the data automatically. So, whatever the data you are going to enter here, for example, mani, recto, yes, example, insert data, so automatically it will save it to the database. Ano na tayo form to save. So, Oh, it's a So, it's clear for what I'm going to do. I'm going to put sample near 
and from Cordia. So insert. So automatically it will now switch it to the database. Going back to the codes, any question for the codes? Sub ten lines. Do not do not think with the codes na as as a general. Meaning you go into every every line for asan sila, and you can see ano ng na may may be work yun. All the codes here are working together. Wala siya independent variable. They are working together. Uh, to have a uh, to perform a simple task. A query is a transaction to the database. Para siya of kwan ba? So there are there are mean uh there are four basic functions in the database. Insert. Um, search, which is retrieve. Then we have update and delete. Those are four main queries. So, what is the query? So, what is the query? What about the query? What is the query? The meaning of the query in general and sa, sa English is more on request. The request and query is the query. It's not the same as the query. Oh, a query is request or oh, the database is perform at performing a task. So, so you can query meaning nakai nakai gibuat transaction sa database, and that transaction is inserting data. So, ug mo gamit po ka ug retrieve mo ra gyapon SQL Server. Offline na sa 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 ano? Ah, you are going to write your code in the platform or pwede po sa online. Any text editor you want to use with okay ra gyud. Pwede pong NetBeans. Okay pong NetBeans. Ang NetBeans din dot siya. Pero output ay wala sir. Para lang sa HTML di ba? Para to. Ito bang that friend. Ayaw ko ah, mura gyapon. Eh ko na gamit na. Ah NetBeans. PHP web. Insert, data. What's the topic? Nato. Insert mo nasa. Insert kita. O mas search nata. The question. Um, talk ani. Break tau ten minutes. Dey ang posit tau break ten. Okay. Emo rapasing nang. Ako ay post ako laptop, ako ay record, ako nasa isa pang record. 